Welcome back. Happening tomorrow, an event dedicated to helping those experiencing homelessness. The Lord's Place is hosting the 16th annual Sleep Out, and it's at a new location this year. Annie Noble joins us now to tell us more. So tell us about this year's Sleep Out and where it's being held. Absolutely. We are so excited. Like you said, this is our 16th annual. Been in the community for a long time. Here to raise awareness, but I'll tell you, we've raised awareness and now the community has really surrounded us so much so that we needed a bigger location. Look at that. Well, that's a great problem to have. I know. So we'll be at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium in Jupiter, Florida tomorrow, this Friday, the 31st, starting at 530 p.m. That is so neat to be able to do the sleep out event at, at the stadium there. So what kind of activities take place at sleep out? Absolutely. So we welcome everyone. And this is a free event, mind you, too. So family, friends, community, leaders, we want everybody there. Um, and when you come, it's a great opportunity to learn about the work of the Lord's Place through our mission pathway. You can actually travel as if you are a client going through your journey out of homelessness. There will be an auction, lots of kids activities, and there's even volunteer opportunities, give back stations where you can bring supplies, put together kits that will be going directly back to the clients of the Lord's Place. We can be your feet on the street. <laughs> and Annie, what's the significance of the sleep out? What kind of message are you trying to get across to people? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of people think that you have to sleep out to come to sleep out, and the answer is you don't. You are welcome to sleep under the stars with us on the ball field at Roger Dean Stadium, or you can go home to sleep in the comfort of your home after you attend the event. We just want to make sure that the night is dedicated to ending the cycle of homelessness. And to do that, we're raising money. Of course we're raising money. And the best part is, is every dollar is matched 100% by the Honorable Ann Brown through tomorrow. So our goal is 325,000 and we're getting very close. Okay, so after the event, right, you were telling me that all attendees are encouraged to sleep out at the event or sleep in at home. So what, what's the significance behind that? Right, we just wanna dedicate the night to ending homelessness. So whether or not you spend the night at Roger Dean under the stars, really thinking about what it might be like to be homeless or going home, sleeping in your home, but maybe someplace different, maybe not your bed, maybe it's the couch or your backyard or a lawn chair. Because mind you, when somebody's homeless, it just means that they don't have a place to call home. And so it really is significant to spend a couple minutes or the entire night in a place that isn't so comfortable. It really makes you realize what our clients go through. So if people wanna come out tomorrow, how can they participate? Should they bring their own like sleeping bags, their own supplies, what, what should we tell them? Great question. So go to sleepouttlp.org. All the information is on there. I um, remind you that it's free to come to the event. So you can come in. The only thing that you have to purchase are auction items and food from the concession stand. So be sure to bring your credit card, but we welcome everybody. We hope there's 500 plus people there really learning about what the Lord's Place does to help people in their journey out of homelessness. And if people can't participate tomorrow, can they donate on the website? Oh, please and thank you. We very much appreciate it. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Annie.